Welcome back. Today we are in the triad section of Psalm 119, a psalm where we've been really trying to understand why is God trustworthy? How, how would I trust him? And that part of that is as we look into God's word and discover the way that he has enlightened the path in front of us so that we can live the way that he's designed for us to live. And so today, I want you to look with me at page 30 under the triad section number two, because this gives us some ways that we can think about specific things that I want to trust God for. And maybe specific things that you want to talk to God about. And so it just says this week, keep a trust journal. Each day, write down something important to you for which you can start to trust God. And maybe it's even just as you're watching this video to think of, of one of these things or something of your own that you would say, yeah, I'd like to talk to God about that. I'd like to know I could trust God for that. Maybe it's a, a career or business move, dreams you have for your children. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like I don't even trust myself with my children. Uh, but I'd love to know that I could trust God for their future. Hopes for a relationship, maybe financial decisions that are happening right now with everything going on in the world, breaking a bad habit, spiritual questions or doubts. You see, the idea is that when we come to prayer and when we come to God's word, if that's just talking to God and if part of how he answers us is what he has put on these pages, then we can be specific about things and look for his help here. In fact, there's a couple verses that I would offer you to encourage you that way. Because in verse 111 and 112, it says this to God, Your testimonies I have taken as a heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever to the very end. And I know as I was thinking through this myself, trying to figure out how do I trust God for those specific things, you remember those words like testimonies, statutes, that's just talking about the Bible. That's God's word. But notice, I noticed here it says that they are the rejoicing of my heart. I incline my heart to them. I lean into it. I, I want that. And I wonder, because I did not always feel this way about prayer. I did not always feel that way about God's word. And so I wonder, how do you feel? Like, do you feel like that's the rejoicing of your heart or that, that you want it to be? Um, and that's kind of a loaded question, right? But I was talking to a gal from our community this week uh, Krista, and she was telling me that she's really been on this incredible kind of journey of prayer, learning how to talk to God in the last few months. And it started for her because she found something in her life where she felt like she just didn't have peace. Looking at it now, she realizes it may have been a control thing, like places that she's just not in control. But that became the specific thing she wanted to talk to God about. And so she actually reached out to someone uh, on our team, uh, Tammy, and the two of them went through this kind of prayer journey together you know, that to try to understand, well, have you talked to God about these things? Is there anything in, in his word, like the thing that Psalm 119 is celebrating that might be helpful? And what I really appreciated about what Krista shared with me was that you know, she grew up in a family that cared about prayer and just kind of felt like every day she would say the same prayer at dinner. Like prayer really was a, a rote thing. You, you say these words and then you're done and I don't know if it does anything anyway. And that in this season was really kind of the first time that she wanted to sit down in front of God and just be real, be specific and see how he might work on attitudes in her heart, how he might work through circumstances around her. That even if his answers weren't exactly what she hoped for, that she might begin to see what Psalm 119 described how God was lighting a better path for her. And she's still on that journey. I still am too. Maybe you still are too. But I would encourage you, if you think of something that is causing you not to have peace right now, if you think of something that you're really hopeful for, that you dream about, could you talk to God about that thing? To reach into that relationship with him as a heavenly father and say, God, I know this matters to you because it matters to me and you care about me. So could we pray that way right now? Father, I do thank you that you want to speak to us in prayer. I do thank you that you speak to us through your word and Lord, that you are so patient with me. And so Lord, I just want to say today that I trust you specifically for my forgiveness and for my family's future. 
And Lord, I want to pray for anybody who is working through this booklet, you know, watching these videos, or, or even if they're not, Lord, but they're just trying to talk to you about something that matters in their life. Well, we thank you that you listen, that you care, that you want to bring us into relationship with you. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen.